Hello everyone and welcome to Sutton's Days. Today I have to get these peaches out of my kitchen. Yes, I do. So we're going to make some peach pepper jam. Mm, 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 mm. And we're going to be using Pomona, so I'll, I'll address that a little bit later. But I rinsed off my hands so I could do this. Um, I, don't, I don't blanch them for 30 seconds to slip the skins. Really, I, I don't want that heat in the kitchen. So I thought I'd show you what I do, okay? And you just need a good, sharp paring knife. And this is what I do. This does not mean you have to do it. I'm just showing you what I do because I hate to leave the peeling part completely out of the video, but you know, it needs to be there. So that's, you know, that's the skin. I have the bowl over here to catch the skins in the pits and I have my stock pot here. And so now I take that and I do each side. And if you go slow, you just take it in a nice, simple, circle and it will take the rest of it off okay you want to try not to get a whole bunch of the flesh but you know do what you can okay and I do this because honestly you guys I just don't have time I don't have time and I don't want the extra heat in the house it's humid as the daylights outside and I'm out of time I have a lot to can today so I am going to do this now when you get that skin off right now what do you do Lise I put it, I put my hand down in the pot and I squeeze. That's it. I put my hand down in the pot and I squeeze. Now sometimes the stem will come off separate. You just fish it out. Not a big deal. Just pull off, which it just did. Okay, just pull off the, uh, the flesh. Pick out your stem. And you have all the liquid and you have all the flesh right down in here for making your peach jam. Yes. Okay, this smells so good my mouth is watering. Okay, so the, I love these pots. I love these pots and pans. I cannot tell you guys enough. I probably have not bragged on them quite enough. The bottom of the pot must be damp. But like the pots have a measurement. I think you can see that on the side. So I know without having to go through all the rigor, rigmarole that I have 12 cups of mashed peaches in here. That makes a body super happy because it's one less step, one less dirty dish. You know what I mean? So with the Pomona pectin, um, the process is a little different. And one of the common questions that I get asked a lot about jams and jellies is, can you double or triple a batch? Now, typically, no. With Pomona, yes, you can. You can absolutely double and triple a batch, okay? So we have, I've already made my calcium water. The, the directions are there. It sounds more intimidating than it truly is, okay? So I have the peaches in the pot. We're bringing those up to a boil right now. I've made the calcium water, and so now we have put, you know, well, all the fruit is in there, and we're supposed to add um, the calcium water. So let me show you how that goes, because we're doing a triple batch, a triple batch of jam. Yes, we are. I'm so excited about this. So for each batch, you need, you need, you need four teaspoons of calcium water, okay? So I'm going to get my measuring cup out here. Four teaspoons of calcium water. And we're going to add that. Wah, 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 wah. I don't know if you can hear it. It's working its magic. Teaspoons. You know, they put them all in a ring together and then you can't get them separate with one hand. Okay. So we're going to put in 12 teaspoons of calcium water. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, so we have the calcium water in there. Yay us. And now we are going to add the pectin. Yes, we are. So I need, let's see, three, nine teaspoons of the pectin. And everything you need is in the box, except for the uh, the water you know so that's really nice okay so now we're going to open this up nine teaspoons of the pectin okay and it's a different color see that yep so that's one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay. There we go. It's that 
days your math. Yes, it is. So we're going to stir that in, okay, while it is heating up and doing its magic. We're also going to add our lemon juice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. So for that, let's see, lemon juice I need for three batches, I need one and a half cups of lemon juice. Yes, that does. So that's one, two, and three. Okay, so we have our lemon juice. Now we're just gonna keep stirring and it will all mix in as it's doing its thing. Okay, and then we're going to add the sugar. Now you can use honey, uh, you can use honey, or you can use sugar. So that's good. Did I miss a stem? I missed a stem. Quality control. Okay, I missed a stem. There we go. That will get all incorporated. So now we're going to add the sugar. And the really cool part about Pomona is that it is a lower sugar. So you know with a lot of jam recipes, you have, you know, three cups of fruit and six cups of sugar. That is not the case here with Pomona. So that is nice. So for a triple batch, we're gonna use six cups of sugar. So six cups of sugar for 12 cups of fruit. So it's like, you know, that just makes more sense to me. So let's get that in there. Okay, so now that's all in there. It's a pretty full pot that so we got to bring up to a boil here, but we will do it. We will do it. And just the sheer act of the boil will help incorporate all of that packed in. Okay. And it will break down um, the larger pieces of fruit. Now, if you want to have a little fun, which I consider doing, I really did. Um, I considered, oh, that's a piece of skin. Okay. Um, I considered my immersion blender. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. But now remember we are making, ha ha ha, we are making peach pepper jam. So now I am adding in the two jalapeno peppers. Now they're two decent sized jalapeno peppers. Okay. So it's not going to be super duper hot, um, but I left the seeds and the membrane in because I do want the heat, just not super duper hot. And I made a batch yesterday that was super duper hot. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. This is going to be so good. Okay, so I'm 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 going I'm doing this on the fly here, you guys. I think I am going to put in my immersion blender. Why am I doing this? Because I don't want it really chunky, and I'm not going to make a complete mess of my kitchen. But I do want to break this down just a little bit more than what it is. And there'll still be some chunks in there, just not as much. So this is my improv. Yeah. Okay, and that's all she wrote. That's it. Nothing big. Here she goes. Starting to bubble. Okay. So once that comes up to a nice boil, we'll just turn it down, let it simmer for five minutes. 
Let's talk about foam. We're going to talk about all the stuff during this video, aren't we? I don't find foam to be an issue. As a matter of fact, I find typically that it dissipates. However, you know, this time it'll prove me wrong. Um, but I don't think foam is an issue. It's a homemade jam. So this is good. This is good. Um, if it dissipates, you know, even better. But otherwise, go ahead and skim it off. See? But seriously, that tastes good too. Okay, let's get this baby bubbling. Okay, so she's boiling. I'm happy with the boil. So I'm going to turn down my heat and set my timer for five minutes just to let it simmer. Okay, we'll be back when it's time to fill jars. Oh, okay, so if you're doing a triple batch like this, really quick, um, you want to keep an eye on it because you don't want that to spill over. That is going to be a hot mess if it spills over. So make sure you turn your heat down adequately and stick around because see how it's growing? It's growing. It's up to like 24 cups right now or something, 26. So I'm going to stay right here and keep an eye on her. Somebody asked a really good question the other day and said, when do you turn your, your steam canner on? When do you start that heating up? I started heating up right now. So I've pulled the pot off. And, the, you know, I'm going to fill the jars. These are very hot jars. They just came out of the sterilized uh, setting on the dishwasher. So I'm going to fill six at a time, okay? And we're going to fill those to a quarter-inch headspace. Yes, we are. And we'll come back and top them off. But I'm going to do six at a time because that way I know I can get them all into my um, steam canner because it is hot and humid today and this lady is not doing a water bath. Not gonna happen. Okay. And this will take a few minutes, so it will, it's more than enough time to let the uh, steam canner heat up. There we go. So it's hot jam in two hot jars. You want to make sure that you do that. Um, and if you're not using the steam canner or you don't have the sterilized function on your dishwasher, you know, then um, just have a pot with the uh, with the jars in the you know in water, letting them come up to temp. Okay, I'm gonna move this off to the side. And there we go. You can hear it coming up to temp. It's good to have a towel underneath what you're doing because as you can see I'm a mess I'm a messy canner yes I am okay so now we are going to wipe the rims okay time to wipe the rims you want to make sure to get all that oopy goopy stuff off the rims make sure that no fruit landed on there and is there because that will interfere with, whoop, and keep your paper towel out of it, okay? That will interfere with the seal. <clears throat> and you don't want that to happen. You hear that steam canner heating up? Yep. Okay. Here, let's just do that. Okay. No, that's probably not what I should do, but I did it anyway. Okay, so, oopsie, I gooped it on that side pretty good. There we go. I'm gonna grab another paper towel. Fruit can be messy. Okay. There we go. So now we're going to get our lids out. Now, even though you don't have to soak them, blah, 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 I still do. <clears throat> and these are anchor hocking jars with anchor hocking lids. Um, so I'm definitely soaking them. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to get these on. Is that one or two? That's that's one. Okay. That's two. Gotta love it. There we go. <clears throat> so good. And now we're gonna screw on the, the rings. And the rings just need to be finger tight, okay? Ooh, hot jars, babe. 
finger tight. Oops. This is where newer rings are nicer to work with. Yes. Come on, there we go. Okay. So now these are going to go for my elevation for 10 minutes in the, uh, thank you, in the steam canner. If you are over a thousand feet above sea level, add a minute for every hundred, I think it is. Um, look that up to be sure. Or follow the directions in your Pomona uh, pectin, okay? So we're going to get these in. I got to move the dogs. Come on, dogs, move. Okay. I only put two quarts of water in there. And six half pints fit in there very nicely. Here, let me bring you over so you can see. See? Six pints fit, six half pints fit in there very nicely. Okay, so for our altitude, I have to get into that dark green area, which is hard to see. There you go. So once it hits there, then I have it on for 10 minutes. We'll be back. As my friend Linda says, you know it's going to be a good jam when your nose starts running while you're making it, right? Okay, so we are at 10 minutes. I'm going to pull these out. While this batch was processing, I was filling up six more jars. Oh yeah, and I'll show you, um, like, I, like I said, the foam dissipates. Don't skim the foam, it's good stuff. Okay, okay, so that's our first six. Let me bring you down to show you. Oh yeah, you can see, I'm a hot mess when I cook. Everything, everywhere. Look at that jam, you guys. Focus. That is some good looking jam and i'm i'm gonna be honest with you stuck a spoon in there tried it oh my gosh this is crazy good so let me get these uh let me top off my water first get these other ones in there and then we'll be back batch number two coming out of the steam canner remember to always point it away from you okay and here we go so in total i got three batches out of that uh what i made which you know was supposed to be three batches so that made no sense lisa <laughs> i got i got 12 18 18 half pints out of three batches yes i did and there's like a spoonful left in the bottom so if phil gets home um I, i'll have him do a taste test Otherwise, trust me, the stuff is crazy, crazy good. Okay, that in there. There we go. I know I have enough water in there for one more session. There we go. So we're going to bring it back up, and then we are going to uh, bring those out. I have to grab another towel. Look at these beauties. Now, it looks like the first batch i've got some seals in there then those are these are anchor hocking lids which always give me pause always but if i have to reprocess it's not a big deal um because it's a steam canner yeah uh i'm loving the steam canner you guys i really am but look at that look at that jam look at that jam that is just gorgeous and to beat that it tastes like summer. It really does. I have to show you guys because I just <laughs> I just did this and I'm like, oh, I have to share this. Okay, this is the bottom of the pot. That's what's left, okay? Look at that. Look at that set. Look at that set. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I was going to scoop it out and save it for Phil, but I don't know if it's going to make it because this is... Mm, 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 okay, so mm, we have so a good. bonus taste tester. We have Harry. Harry and Phil. Okay, go ahead. Mmm. Very good. <laughs> okay, so Phil's mm. willing to share. <laughs> okay. So it, it has your seal of approval? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, Phil. Oh, 
but yeah. Okay. So <laughs> out of all of the jars, 18 of them, uh, I had one that didn't seal. And that's okay because Harry took it with him. <laughs> okay, remember, if you like what we do here, please hit that like, subscribe, and share. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Make yourself some peach pepper jam using Pomona pectin.